Okay, here we are. <clears throat> South Mississippi Aquaponics uh, video update. It is the 16th, 15th, 16th of April, 2015. Uh, last year I had my aquaponics system. Uh, I started it. Things went pretty good. I had nutrient lockout uh, because I'd had no bacteria or, you know, no microorganisms, no bacteria in my system. So basically I had plants that did grow, tomato plants, but they uh, stayed yellow all summer and produced, I think, out of 15 plants, probably maybe a half dozen underdeveloped tomatoes. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, this is 2015 and uh, show you what I got going on this year. So here we go. This is the backyard. It's kind of dark. I wanted to get this video in before it got too dark. So uh, I had a bug infestation and that's uh, some potatoes there. Potatoes here. That is the, um, the good compost bin. And I apologize for being so dark out here, man. It, uh, it got dark pretty quick. Uh, you can see the seven. I didn't want to uh, use seven dust this year, if at all possible, but my kale had the, uh, I, I don't know what the little worm is called, but it is a furious, ferocious eater. Um, it just destroys kale plants. So, uh, got my peas growing up here, some beans back here. Uh, I just dosed them just to be on the safe side, but the kale took a huge hard hit. Um, the kale up top didn't do so bad. Uh, I was able to, I, I don't know if I'm even going to eat this stuff now that it has the, the seven dust on it, to be honest with you. I just wanted to kill those worms before they got crazy and started uh, getting on other plants. So uh, let's go ahead on over here. It's too dark for that, this side of the yard to uh, be able to do any, any good anyway. So started a Dutch bucket hydroponic system. Here's a, uh, this is like a breeder baby tank for tomato suckers. Um, it's the cracky method, I think. I think that's what it's called. Basically just a uh, styrofoam float full of water and uh, three inch holes. Uh, you, you know, circle, it used with a uh, circle, uh, shoot, circle saw. I don't know what you call that daggone saw blade, but anyway, uh, it goes on your drill. You just drill, uh, put the, drill bit in reverse you know the uh, circle bit in reverse and and it doesn't eat up the styrofoam so bad and then you can you know cut these nice three inch holes in here and the uh, three inch net pots they fit in there um, really good so that is pea gravel yes it is and you can see I got a lot of air going in this thing so I'm hoping that this year last year I didn't have any I had a couple of air stones in there but they weren't that my Air pump was not an industrial air pump. I have an industrial air pump now. I think it's 170 cubic liters. And uh, that thing really puts out some air. Some uh, beef steaks here. And uh, we do have blooms. So I, guys, I apologize for the uh, low light conditions. Uh, so Dutch bucket system here. These are sugar snow peas. There is the uh, reservoir. Here is the tomato plants, uh, and they are just like going crazy this year. Apparently, I have, uh, I do have bacteria and stuff in here this year because everything just looks so doggone good. Let me, uh, let me turn on this light. I do have a light over here, so this will help. As you can see, um, the plants look fantastic. And I just could not be any happier than I am with, uh, with this year's beginning. You know, some of these plants I grew from seed. Uh, these ones that are over here on this end, I grew from seed. And uh, a lot of these other ones I got from the store. But uh, I just, <clears throat> I didn't have a very good seed uh, seed har uh, harvest this not harvest but uh whenever i you know did my put my seeds in i just did not have a very good uh, turnout this year 
Let's see if I can get up in there. With the light. Um, there we go. Look at all those blooms, man. These things, this is squash, and they are just going absolutely nuts with uh, blooms. I hope that this does good this year. I, I apologize. I'm trying to hold a light and uh, and do everything else. You can see baby squash coming in. Uh, these are the cucumbers over here. Um, so they're doing very good as well. They're starting to make their climb upward. And uh, some baby, uh, I think these are ghost peppers. But once I got these transplanted over here, they seem to do a little bit better. I had them in the Coco Coir. Um, sorry about that, I just almost fell in the dust of my head. These are the uh, Coco Coir uh, cubes. And that's what I started these peppers in. <laughs> now, that, uh, now I don't have any room for them. I feel so bad. This is the updated uh, biofilter. Thank you to whatever electric company lost this bucket out of their <laughs> out of their um, their their bucket truck. The insert for you know an electric company's bucket truck. I was driving down the interstate one day after work and on my way home from work, and this was on the side of the interstate. Man, I locked them up. I was like, oh yeah, that's my new that's my new bio filter right there, and uh, and it looks good. It's doing a, a fantastic job of doing what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, you can see the water has a very tannic color now, and uh, and everything looks really good. So yeah, there's all my junk up there. I need to uh, move all of that. I'm sorry about that. So uh, there is the bug zapper that keeps the fish fed at night. I do supplement feed. Let me get this light out of here. Okay. <coughs> so you can see the fish are doing fantastic. The catfish are doing great. I'm going to I'm going to do a feeding right now. So I'm going to set this down for a quick second. Apologies. And uh, there. So we should see the catfish come up here in just a second. Uh, even there he is. That's not just one of them. There's like six of them in there, and, uh, and they have they have really gained some weight. The bass and the brim, not so much, but the catfish are packing on the pounds, and, and they're doing really good. So there you go. That's about it. A little quick update for uh, for South Mississippi Aquaponics. Um, I really uh, there we go. Let me get this light situation figured out here. There we go. So, uh, don't know if you, eh, hopefully you can see me. Maybe you don't want to. But uh, anyway, that's it for, you know, this update. Everything's doing really good. I couldn't be happier. It took, uh, took over winter to get the bacteria and, and the microorganisms going in my system, you know, through feeding uh, the fish and, and just letting it do its thing. Um, this is, uh, it's been a lot of fun. No doubt about it, I've learned a lot. Uh, thanks to, I can't even begin to thank all the people that have uh, helped me uh, by posting their YouTube videos. And uh, I can't tell you uh, all thank you, but thank you. <laughs> so you really helped out with, uh, with your trials and your mistakes. And I've made mine along the way and I'm probably going to continue to make some more. I did get a bigger pump. Uh, I don't recommend doing a hydroponic or an aqu aquaponic system using a a fountain pump or you know anything like that that you can get from Lowe's. Uh, I went to me and a buddy of mine, uh, Neptune. We went to Harbor Freight, or he did rather, and purchased a Pacific Hydrostar uh, sump pump. It is a 110. Now, if you're off the grid, it's going to be kind of hard to, uh, I mean, you could do it with enough batteries, I'm sure, but this is 
not off the grid yet. Uh, maybe next year I'll be able to get it off the grid. I'm slowly working in that way or in that in, in that uh, that direction, and you know maybe by next year I'll be able to have this thing off grid. It's a uh, that's a whole another challenge in and of itself. So. South Mississippi Aquaponics, thank you for your time, and uh, I really hope uh, hope you enjoyed the video, the update, and I hope you guys keep watching because uh, it's a never-ending process. All right, bye.